So we might just do a uh, afternoon walkthrough, eh? With a bit of afternoon sun. They're all grown, pumping with this fertilizer, water and sun. Loving it. Whoops. It's interesting how yellow they look with the sun. But then as soon as you go to the shade, they're all very green and blue. So you might just go through some uh, cool looking ones. Best time of the year when you start getting fresh new growth. After seeing all this old shit, it's just clean, smooth. I've been getting some flowers coming out. I'm not bothered to record them because everyone's seen what a cactus flower looks like. And if you haven't, there's plenty of videos out there. Those were red ones. I've got, a, actually that one's kind of still out. I've got a pink one. And just some normal white ones from a Spatianus, I think it's pronounced. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much done. Came out, uh a day or two days ago. But uh, it's got heaps. I, I counted like 30 something on there. A few on those ones. These ones are finishing up. Hopefully these fruits are taking. They seem to be dying back a fair bit, but they're not falling off, so I'm not too sure. They're not getting much bigger though. Those, those look like they're taking. So we'll see how it goes. But sometimes, like, this one here because of the pot this is going to keep growing and it's going to squish that so I don't know if that'll work yeah some of the imidacloprid that I've been using on these for scale so yeah I recently bought these um, and they came with some scale, which is fine. I mean, would be nice if they told me, but that's all right. If we can just get a clear shot. Oh my God. There's some scale and you can see the white spots. That's where they used to be. They're just marks. Um, it's grown a fair bit and on, on the new growth in the center, I haven't had any, but when I got it, they were all in the center. Um, same as this one here, there's a spot, but there was like quite a few more than there is now. So I've been applying imidacloprid to the, uh, straight to the soil, soaking it. And that seems to be working so far. And I'm doing that every, around about two to three weeks. And... Got some fruits there. I've been on there for quite a while now. The only uh, these two, that one's fairly new. But these two, I'm still waiting for them to ripen up. And I've got a few more on. They all got pollinated. I just gave them, not too sure what they got really, just some, some of that pink flower or. Uh, the red flower, they're just like hybrids of something, just flowering hybrids. Got some chilies going. Got uh, two buds on a scop over here. Got another bud over here, I think two buds actually, on this one. One advanced and one coming along. Now, I think that was labelled... Pakanoi, but uh, I don't know, a bit confusing. Um, 
What else we got? Really nice pups looking there. It's not very clear in the sun. A bit better in the shade. Ah uh, yes, and have flowers on big plim, I think it's pronounced. Four flowers, which I'm quite excited about. This thing is just doing some funky stuff. Um, Quamby getting really tall and it's still got uh, what is it three pups on it three pups three pups and it's still pumping these ones are looking quite nice find out what name it is super pedro cross psycho is this one here which is the same as that you're yeah, a little bit sunburnt the yellowing on there The shark's pump pup is pumping. Really nice uh, spines coming out. Just looking amazing. I'm thinking of doing a Trichoceros Pleasure, what is it, three soon? So, um, probably in, I don't know, maybe a month, two months, three months? Um, just whenever these guys have got a good enough amount of growth that they're looking just just stunning. And then I'll do a fourth, obviously a few months later when they're looking even better. And yeah. So this is the big plume. There's some really nice stuff. Not only am I seeing the same awesome stuff that I saw last year, but new stuff. All these younger seedlings are now showing their mature look. That before looks like that or that. And as they start getting older, they start showing what they really look like this one. See, I, it was quite obvious it was Brugesii, and it showed a bit of look from last year. It's a nice blue. But this year it's going to get quite mature, I think, and show what it really looks like. And, um, it's, I, I'm not too sure if... I know uh, people that aren't into cactus don't understand this. Um, I'm, I'm sure most of you probably would. But uh, when you go from a seedling to a mature plant, the looks change. The looks change um, every stage of its life. So when they're this young, um, they shrink down, they don't take up en enough uh, uh, nutrients, water, sun, all of that stuff. And um, as they get older and more mature and bigger root systems are taking the nutrients they need for a certain size, they get bigger. 
Um, and obviously, uh, most of you know this already, but I'm just explaining it for people that don't. Um, it's that skinny, and as it's getting bigger, root system's getting bigger, it can get thicker and thicker, until eventually, obviously, won't get much thicker. Um, but it can show its true form, much like a lot of the bigger ones. And these will even change when they're uh, big stands from from the way they look now. Not much more, but they will change slightly. Um, and so, when something looks quite ordinary, uh, like this one down here, though it's small and it's insignificant, you just don't know what it's going to turn into. It's already shown some potential in what it's doing there. Um, and it does look quite odd, so I'm thinking that it might have something to show in the future. Um, so yeah, that's no, very, very cool. There's going to be a lot that I just haven't seen what they really look like. And every single year, I'll see more and more unique uh, genetics. Check out the seedlings, eh? They're all grown. These crests going great. Pumping along this freak. I think that's one, two, three. Sorry. One, two, three, four freaks. They're like. Can't, oh no, is it five? I don't know. More than, more than four. More than five. Um, this one seems to do crests, but it's quite odd. It's not clean crest and these ones just seem to pop like nuts and just mutate so I'm very keen to see what they're gonna look like when they're older um, but the struggle is to get them older because one thing with crests um, if I have one or <laughs> use a dead one I had to try and save it, but it did not work. It is dead. And it had that for a, over a year. But, um... Actually, I do have an example over here. When seedlings are crests almost immediately... I mean, sure, it's great. That means uh, the crest genetic is, I, I suppose, quite strong. Um, if it's coming up that early in its life. Uh, but what happens is because they start cresting so young, they're so tight. And then when it grows, um, it can quite easily get infected. Um, uh, moisture gets stuck in there, bugs might be in there, uh, just pushing against itself and breaking things off. Um, so I was having a bit of rot here, I cut that off. That's that bit there, that was a while ago. It's, it's sort of surviving, but I'm not expecting it to survive really. I'm just leaving it there. Um, but that's the problem with having seedling crests, is that it might just end up killing itself when it's older. You would kind of much rather get a crest this size, uh, root it, grow it, and then it's less likely to get rot, or to, like specifically rot because it's so close and tight together like this. See, if this was bigger, like at this mature stage, um, it might not have the risk of rotting like this. See, if I were to grow that out, that might be a bit better. Or even grow that out and hopefully that would crest later on. Uh. And back to the seedlings. These, this tray was not looking good. They were all purple from lack of water, I think. Because ever since I've been smashing them with water, they've just been going great. Um, and they are just like they need to be potted up like that definitely needs to be potted up most of these need to be potted up but not much room I mean sure I could put one there and there and there but the point is is like if you just count 10 out of that like 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just that space for ten zerlings. <laughs> so, yeah. See, that might be a decent crest since it's not folding in on itself in terms of uh, survivability and not rotting. That's interesting. Pupping quite a lot. Another crest in there. See, they, they need to be... Oh, there's actually two crests in there. They need to be potted up. I will have to do that. Probably this or this summer or end of summer. We'll see how fast they grow, eh? All these guys are going good. Not much interesting down there to be honest. They're just they're pretty ordinary. They look good, look healthy. These guys, they're getting spiky. Nice. This is one of my favourites at the moment. Whoops. Looks better when the sun's not on it. Uh, from a westerly direction. But the pups. The pups are always nice. Yeah, this gets quite a geometric shape to it, or geometric look. And some more seedlings. Some fuzzballs. These guys. They look very green through this uh, phone. Not too sure if that'll come up on the video, but um, they're not that green. They look a bit more dull in person, but still healthy. Um, yeah, really keen. I'm really hoping this guy will get fatter because he just has a look to him. Oh my god, if this thing would focus. It just doesn't want to. Oof. Just has a certain look about him. Um, but he is quite skinny compared to others. I mean, compared to that and that and that. Quite skinny, especially for how tall he is how tall it is um, but this was given to me by herbalistics called LMP special which I am assuming is legendary Matacan legendary Matacanu Pakanoi um, special so I assume that seeds that they've gotten from Matacana region maybe um, and this is one of the seedlings or offspring pup whatever you want to call it um so i'm yeah i'm really hoping that's going to get fat and um, with that look and a lot fatter that'll be yeah that'll be nice that look and that fatness that that thick plump look Yeah. Alrighty, I suppose. Oh, look at that. Look at the sun and the spines. What are you doing, buddy? Hey? Chewing some cuddles, mate.
All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, eh?